This is my homemade Swivel Hinge UMPC. If you don't know what a UMPC is, it stands for Ultra Mobile PC. UMPCs are basically tiny laptops. I designed and built this one on my own, and it took me two months. I started with 3D modeling the plastic pieces in SolidWorks and then 3D printing them. The hinge is very sturdy because it's made out of all metal. I designed and stamped the sheet metal at a university machine shop. The swivel hinge itself is from a ThinkPad X201 tablet. I decided to use a Raspberry Pi 4 for the motherboard because it's currently the fastest Pi, and because the Pi 4 uses a micro HDMI, this allowed me to feed the video cable through the swivel hinge without me having to solder all the tiny connections inside an HDMI cable. The swivel hinge allows it to fold into a tablet. I decided to use the swivel over a yoga hinge because the yoga hinge leaves the keyboard exposed while in tablet mode. The device uses a regular 3DS stylus. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate the touchscreen yet on this prototype because I haven't been able to find drivers to get this specific touchscreen to work with a Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see, this prototype is very thick at over 5 centimeters thick. Obviously, this isn't very practical for a portable device, but this was as compact as I was able to make it, as I'm just a one-man team. If I had a team of engineers helping me design this, I know I could make it less than 2 centimeters thin. This is the 2002 Sony Clear. It had the swivel hinge, and look at how thin it is. If we could make a swivel hinge device this thin back in 2002, imagine how thin we could make one today. The point of this project is to encourage people to think outside of the box. Since the introduction of the first iPhone, people have been very closed-minded about not wanting to try anything that isn't just an all-touch slab. Unfortunately, having an all-touch slab isn't as productive as having physical controls or a full desktop operating system. With my UMPC, the user can use desktop Linux or Windows with a keyboard and mouse, draw with the touch screen and stylus, and if they want to use it casually like an all-touch smartphone, they can simply swivel it into a tablet. It's the best of both worlds.